characters that everyone wants in Smash Bros. There are endless lists and articles written about such desires, but today, we gonna talk about them characters that nobody be speaking about. Well, maybe some people. But here we go with the top five characters we need in Smash that have not been clickbaited to death. <laughs> Ow, got him. Number five. The Worms dudes are the most lethal little dudes on this soiled earth. They may be small in size, but they carry a arsenal of weaponry big enough to make Putin pout. I beg your pardon? What would make these characters really fun in a Smash Bros game is the fact that all their weapons and armory is so vast. They have weapons of all shapes and sizes. There is no standard weapon or standard attack when it comes to the Worms games. If you can imagine attacking someone in a specific way in any way, shape, or form, you better bet your sweet rear that Worms has got you covered. And for the love of God, Nintendo, if you ever make this happen in any way, shape, or form, please, please, please let Lloyd Christmas make the announcement. I got Worms. Number four. Rise from your grave. It's time to power up, my amigos. Imagine this. The Roman centurion, known as the Beast Warrior, kicking and punching his way all through your favorite Nintendo characters, but with some edgy flair, only to power up and wreak havoc in the Smash universe. The Roman centurion alone is a pretty big beefcake, but I think Nintendo could do some killer work when he transforms into his animal variants. That's also what makes this feel like it would work so well in a Smash Bros game. The fact that there are multiple different creatures that you morph into. Anytime you have the excuse to mutate or power up into another fighter in any video game at all, new gameplay is instantly added. Altered Beast has always felt like one of the staple Sega Genesis games, so I just think it would be really, really cool to see these characters on my Nintendi. And again, if we're gonna talk about announcements, please, have the welcome to your doom dude announce their arrival heck yes mm, number three are you kidding me yeah look at this tony hawk everybody do a kickflip no way you saw this one coming my main man tony hawk of course, this may seem like a silly choice, but hey, we got Wii Fit Trainer for goodness sakes, people. But I actually think this could be pretty rad. I pictured Tony doing some damage while swinging his board and hurting enemies that way, but I think the real damage dealer could be done while doing tricks. Tony doing his staple 900 while each turn takes damage, insane combos to really add up the damage dealing, and heck, even some ultimate move that rallies up all the enemies into a really long line and then Tony does some epic grinds on their bodies. It sounds like a dream come true. Maybe it is the heavy influence skateboarding has had on my life, but I feel like this would actually be super epic. And holy crap, come on people. Now is the time with part one and part two of Tony Hawk Pro Skater being remastered. Tony's my boy. Number two. This almost, almost, almost got my number one pick. I went back and forth on this for a bit, but man, Jason and Sophia from Blaster Master could be wicked cool. What makes this pick extra interesting is that you could play as Jason or as Sophia or both together, just like the games. We already know that Blaster Master has set us up with some awesome weapons and or power-ups, so thinking of movesets really wouldn't be difficult at all. There was a bit of time in my life where this just almost felt completely 
completely lost and like it could never happen. But with the Switch showing love to Blaster Master right out of the gate, and another one just recently, I feel like there is a real actual chance here. I always dug the back and forth style that was required to beat the games in Blaster Master, and it would really add some extra pizzazz to a Smash Bros game. Oh, and somehow make the frog part of the ultimate move. This frog is a legend in my eyes. Take that, Slippy! <laughs> You know the drill. Before we get to number one, we get to hear some more honorable mentions. And again, unpopular choices. Rocket Knight, Wart, Pyramid Head, and Chip and Dale. Number one. I know, I know, this pick may not be as unpopular as some of the other choices I made on this list, but I feel most current gen Smash players really could care less about the Contra dudes. They probably don't even know their names, to be honest. Lance Bean and Bill Riser. If you take the raw, brute force of every action 80s and 90s movie and slap them all together into a video game, you get Contra. These mayhem making run and gun dudes are responsible for some of the gnarly runs in gaming history. These mighty men have literally full throttle ran their way through endless levels of complete insanity. You could have a super OP laser weapon, a fearsome flamethrower, and for goodness sake, the biggest staple weapon in all of retro glory, the spread gun. God, you haven't lived until you know death ran a level or two in Contra with the spreader gun. I could really imagine Bill and Lance having some sweet moves while working together and I can visualize all their moves being 100% gun based only. I don't care if you're standing right in front of me just an inch away and I can feel your breath on my chest. You get a homing missile to the gut. It's time to really man up Nintendo and give us our Contra dudes. Yeah, but, but don't man up too much. I, I, I love me some cute characters as well. 